In this video, you are going to see instructions to use exam system. In order to enter the system, you are required to type your individual code to both of the username and password fields, which you see in home page. After typing your code, you must click login button to enter the system. If you face any problem in this step, you can approach exam center of the university. Once you enter the system, you will see your dashboard which contains your name, surname and profile photo. Additionally, on this page you need to find the course name from which you will sit in the exam. Then, by clicking on its name, you will go to the next page. On the left side of this page, you can see the course name with big letters and time allowed for the exam in the center. This means that you have 50 minutes for the exam. Please note that all information you see in this video is conventional and for tutorial purpose. So, in your exams, number of questions and time limits may be different. By clicking on Attempt Quiz Now, you can start your exam. Then you will see the notification about the time limit and countdown. Here you must click on blue colored Start Attempt button to see exam questions. All exam questions that you are provided are located in a single page. You see the text and answer choices for each question individually. At the same time, by looking at the right side of this page, you can check your time with Time Left or Countdown feature. For each question, you can select its corresponding answer via cursor. After selecting answer, you are allowed to change it until the end of the exam. You can navigate between questions by scrolling mouse's middle button up or down. Don't worry that the time allowed for the exam will end and your exam will not be completed. Please note that after time finished in countdown, all your answers will be saved and submitted automatically by the system. If you have answered all the questions and you are sure about them, you can finish the exam on your own. Because of the tutorial, we answer questions quickly. After answering the questions, you can click the blue colored Finish Attempt button. On the right in the navigation section, you see answered and unanswered questions. Answered questions are indicated as grey and unanswered ones as white. If there is a question you haven't answered or you would like to clarify, you can return to that question by clicking the number of the question in the navigation section. After checking your answers, you click Finish Attempt button on the bottom of the page. Now, if you are sure and you would like to finish the exam, go to end of the page and press Submit all and finish. In this case, the system will ask you to confirm your answers. In the confirmation window, by clicking the blue colored Submit all and finish button, you submit all your answers. After this step, you will not be able to go back and change your answers. If your confirmation decision is not final, you can return to the test and make any changes to the answers by clicking the Cancel in this window. Don't forget to submit your answers after changes. After clicking Submit All and Finish, you will immediately see your exam result containing your mark, correct and wrong answers. If you are not satisfied with your result, you can apply to the Appeals Commission of the University. You are required to log out of the system after seeing your exam result. For that, raise your hand to invite the exam invigilator and under his supervision, click your image in the right upper corner of the page. Then press Log Out button appear in the small window. You can leave the exam hall after seeing home page.